Hi guys, how are you all? This is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. I hope you all done with the admin panel and it is the time to start our Android project. So be ready guys, from this video we are going to make our actual application that we will publish to Play Store. So without wasting any time, let's start. Open your Android Studio and create a new Android Studio project. Uh, I was not able to think a good name so I have chosen a very simple name Wallpaper Hub. Now you can name it whatever you want. In my case it is Wallpaper Hub. Okay. Now I will store it inside this location. Let's name it Wallpaper Hub. Okay. So this is my project name and this is my project location. You can choose whatever you want. Now we will hit next. Again next. And we will choose an empty activity. Again next and then finish. Now wait until it finishes loading. Okay. So the project is loaded guys. And the first thing we will do is we will change the theme. So go to app then res, then values and open this styles.xml and it is now dark action bar and we will change this to no action bar okay after doing this thing we will change the color schemes okay so I have already decided the colors you can choose whatever color you want I will use here some codes you can copy it or you can choose your colors to choose a color just just click here and choose any color that you want and hit on choose okay right now I will use So this is my color scheme. Okay. Now after changing the colors, we will create packages. Okay. As this is a complete application that we are going to create. So to keep everything well organized, we will create different packages to store classes. Okay. So the first type of classes that we have are activities. So the first package that we will create as activities. Okay. So to create a package, just right click on this main package and go to new and then select package and here create activities. Okay. So inside this package, we will store all the activity classes. Okay. Now the next package that we need is to store our plain old java object classes the pojo classes okay so to store these type of classes we will create another package and we will name it models okay and we will create other packages if required uh, in other videos okay so for now we have two packages one is activities and one is for models now this main activity we will drag this activity inside our activities package okay so just click on this and drag it inside activities and then click on refactor and it will push it inside activities it will push the main activity class inside the activities package okay so that's it now what we will do is we will create the home screen of our application okay so i already have some graphics ready here and you can uh, create your own graphics if you want uh, i have used adobe illustrator and photoshop to create designs uh, you can create the designs on your own and you can use these graphics that i created 
uh, you can get the whole source code from the github repository the link is given in the description okay so i have this background and these two svg graphics okay so you 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 might ask that why i am using svg here it is because svg graphics are scalable and it scales very easily without a quality loss so in your phone you will see crystal clear ui but if you will use pngs or any other format the quality is not as good as svgs okay so that is why i have created svgs so this is the main background so first i will copy everything from here and i will paste it inside my drawable folder which is inside the res folder okay so let's paste oops sorry uh, we cannot directly paste the svg files into drawable folder okay what we need to do is we need to right click on drawable and then go to new and then select vector asset i just pasted the svg files by mistake so let me see if it is pasted or not so open the drawable folder and you see we have the svg files so i will delete these two files we do not need them now to import a svg graphic what you need to do is you need to right click on drawable folder go to new and then select a vector asset okay now here select local file and select your svg file that you want to import okay so it is inside graphics and i have made an india svg it is i will display it on the bottom so import this then i have another svg so again i will do the same thing right click new vector asset local svg and this type the logo okay so this is the logo that i have created using adobe illustrator so it is not a complicated thing it is a simple text written okay so so i have all the graphics that i need to create my home screen okay which is the splash screen that will that we will display for a couple of seconds maybe okay so come to main activity and for the sake of simplicity i will remove this constraint layout and i will use a relative layout here let's delete this hello world text view okay so this is our neat and clean design now in the background of this activity i will set this bg underscore splash okay so let's do it we can simply write here background which is drawable slash bg splash okay so this is the nice background that we have in our screen now on the top i will display the logo okay so let's create an image view and let's make the width 200 bp and the height let's say 250 dp okay and the background as tribal ic logo wallpaper hub the svg that we pasted okay now let's make it center horizontal true to make it on the center and align parent top as true okay so we have our logo then i will display made in india text on the bottom okay so let's copy the same image view and this time the drawable would be img made in india okay 
and let's say the width and the height is same and let's align it to the bottom and let's set some margin margin bottom and let's say we have this minus 100 dp and we need to remove this line which is align parent top both cannot be true align parent bottom and align parent top both properties cannot be true at the same time okay so i want this thing at the bottom so i have this svg at the bottom and i have this wallpaper hub logo at the top okay so we have both image views so the design is looking nice okay now what we need to do is we need to display this screen when the user will launch our application and we will display this screen for a couple of seconds maybe three okay so let's do it and to display it for two three seconds i will use thread here okay and to execute a thread in android after a specified time uh, we can use the handler okay so let's see how we do this come to main activity and here create a new handler object okay so i have handler handler equals to new handler okay now the handler class have a method and the method name is post delayed okay and it takes two parameters the first parameter is a runnable object and if you know java then you know that to execute a thread we can use runnable interface so the first parameter that a post delayed method takes is a runnable instance so for the first parameter we can pass new runnable okay now to make it simple and understandable i will create the runnable instance outside this post delayed method okay so let's create the runnable instance here inside main activity so we have runnable r equals to new runnable okay so this is my runnable instance now for the first parameter of this post delayed method we can pass this r the second parameter is the time in milliseconds and after that specified time this runnable will be called or executed okay so let's say we want to display this splash screen for three seconds so for the second parameter we can pass 3000 which means three seconds okay so after three seconds it will call this runnable and inside this run method that will be called after three seconds we can start our main activity or home activity or whatever you say okay so the main activity this main activity is our splash screen so we will display this screen for three seconds and after three seconds we will start another activity and in that activity we will display all the categories okay so this is what we are going to do so we need to create another activity so inside this activities package create a new activity so to do this right click go to new and select a activity and from here again select an empty activity okay and let's name it categories activity okay or let's name it home activity okay so after splash screen user will go to the home activity finish now come back to main activity there is some error because you need to import this r file okay so to do this just press alt enter and it is i think imported no so press alt enter and select import class okay so we have the r and the error is gone now come back to main activity and here inside this run method we can start the home activity 
so we will create an intent to start a new activity so create an intent object okay so for the first parameter for the intent we pass the current activity context and the current activity is the main activity so here we will pass main activity dot this okay and for the second parameter we will pass the class that we want to start okay so it is our home activity so here we will write home activity dot class that's it now we can simply start this intent using start activity okay that's it now we will also close this activity the current activity and to close the current activity we can use the finish method okay that's it now it should work so let's test it So guys, you see, uh, it is working fine. We seen the splash screen for three seconds and then uh, the home activity is started. So let me show you again. We have the splash screen here and then the home screen. Okay. So that's all for this video friends. I hope you found this helpful if you did please hit on the like button subscribe to my channel if you are new here and don't forget to hit the bell icon and if you want to help me then please share this video with your friends share it in your college whatsapp or facebook group or share it with everyone who want to learn okay and i will see you in the next video bye bye